Well, hello, hello, and welcome again. This is Liz Roy, your tax accountant. And uh, in this um, video, I'm gonna talk about something that I noticed that is just being brought up so many times that I thought it would be a lot easier just to kind of jump in and do a video on this uh, or an audio, if that's the case, if you listen through my podcast. Um, and the question that I get over and over, like I say, ask is, hey, Liz, um, you know, if I'm still collecting unemployment, and I just got my IDL because I know some of you have been a very prolonged period and some have not even got their, their own sort of at all, which is shameful because I know a lot of businesses out there are really, really suffering. I don't care what size you are. I always believe that entrepreneurs are the ones that make uh, you know, the economy better. Um, but if that's your situation where you're wondering, well, what's going to happen? Can I continue you know, collecting unemployment? while I have got one, a PPP, or two, like an IDL. So let's kind of go um, and break it down. So let's put, put an example. Is it taxable? Obviously, we know that unemployment is taxable, uh, but remember that you do have an option to always have, voluntarily, you can have your um, the taxes taken out. So there's an option there, okay? So if you go online, you can see there's an option. And you can take care of that, especially if you know that prior to the, you know, the, the pandemic, if you know that you were already earning specific money and you might want to upset those taxes and not have to worry about bail for next year, then in that case, it might be worth for you to have those, you know, uh, deductions taken out of, uh, you know, each of your uh, unemployment check. Um, now, in another situation, if you are in that kind of financial hardship that you needed, then obviously, I mean, you know, uh, just continue, you know, collecting your, your gross amount, right? Um, now, again, if it, you have unemployment and at the same time, let's say you've got an IDL. Now, with an IDL, you need to be a little bit careful because remember, there's not that extreme of restrictions like it is with the PPP because that was considered free money, right? Um, if you're using it for that purpose, uh, they, they actually, uh, you know, pretty much mandated uh, under your list of a category that they have. Um, and here's the thing, if you're collecting unemployment, and let's say you got your IDL loan, all right? Not a grant, the grant was free money, right? But you actually receive the funds. If that's the case, then in that situation, at that point, if you decide that, for example, you're an S corporation, right? You're an LC, but you're an S corp, you're being taxed as a corporation. In that case, you can start paying yourself a payroll, but once you start doing that, that means you cannot be collecting unemployment. So let me say that very clearly. Once you put yourself in a payroll under your S corporation, you cannot continue collecting unemployment, all right? Um, another thing that has been you know, brought up to my attention, this is a very true fact, by the way. Um, if you're an S corp, uh, what happens if you're not paying yourself, you know, a payroll because the loan that they gave you was not sufficient to even support the next six months of your, you know, six months, whatever, a few months that you have, uh, you know, for your business. So in that situation, if you continue collecting unemployment, but you have not drawn, draw money from a payroll because you're an S-Corp or you're an LLC as a sole proprietorship, you didn't took out any distribution and you're only using the money to cover your operating expenses, all right? Again, it could be rent, it could be doing your marketing that's needed for you to continue to stay in the flow, right? Because if people don't know who you are, well, they, they can't find you, then how are you gonna be able to engage and do new business, right? So advertising, promoting, obviously, I mean, we have rent, we have other type of supplies, and certain things that fall into the correct category, then in that situation, you're okay to continue getting unemployment. Okay, but again, there's no what we call in accounting double dipping, no double dipping. Okay, you cannot be uh, taking draw, okay, from, from, from the IDO loan and paying yourself. Let me give you an example. Let's say you said one with three thousand dollars a month, so you're pulling three thousand dollars as a sole proprietor, right? Uh, which eventually is going to remember, it's going to be really hefty, it's going to be taxable, right? Because you're paying self uh, employment tax. Uh, and also your employee size, so that's over 15% in top of your federal tax. So if you're in a 25% bracket and another 15%, yep, you, you hear me out, how much you're gonna pay over 40%. Um, again, but if you are a super proprietor, 
again, you do not want to take distribution coming to you. You can continue covering your expenses, but you can continue using your unemployment. That's really important for you to know that. Again, no double dipping, all right? And, uh, and for the ones who are in S Corporation, I repeat myself, if you're starting to pull paycheck, uh, I, for, for, for your own personal uh, you know, expenses, then in that case, your unemployment, you have to stop it, okay? Because I don't want you to get in trouble, and I see a lot of people trying to think that it can uh, outsmart the system with internal revenue services, especially. That's not going to happen, folks. It's just not going to happen ever. I know it's not what you want to hear, but that is the truth. Remember, there's thousands of people working for the IRS. So because of that, uh, they are going to finally find you. And when they do, they're going to really hit you with very high fines and, and interest. And it's just going to be a mess. It's not worth it. Take my just... Put it this way, take my word for it, because yes, I'm in that position that I can actually suggest for you not to get in trouble. I've been doing this for many, many years, and I see people sometimes trying to outsmart the system and get in trouble that, you know what, at the long term, it's just not worth it, it really isn't, okay? So again, now in the PPP, is a little, again, it's a difference. If PPP, remember, you are um, uh, 60% of that, because they reduce it from 75 down to 60, you're still able to get that payroll. So in that payroll, you have to stop unemployment, okay? You have to stop it, okay? So I wanna make that very clear. With the PPP, that was the main purpose, remember, for you not to have to pay back because it's really considered you know, free money, but as long as you're able to pay yourself a payroll or whoever other staff that you might have, you know, you have in your company. So anybody, even some of your employees, if they're trying to do double dipping and they're collecting, you know, their paycheck and they're doing the unemployment, eventually it's, it's a matter of time when they're going to be caught and it's going to be a really big, big, big problem for them. Okay. So again, I'm trying to give you as many tips as possible because it's just not worth it. It really isn't. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Okay. Um, it, it's not, it, it might not happen tomorrow or next month, but it's eventually will, they will cut up and when they do, they're going to, you know, like I said, they assess very, very harshly and the money that you thought that you collected up front, you can end up probably only more than double that. So see what I'm saying? It's, it's really not worth it again. So again, I hope my tips has helped you again. If you are collecting unemployment, like I said, if you don't have an idea and you neither have a PPP, obviously you've got nothing to worry about. You continue looking for a job and, uh, and or hopefully, you know, establish, uh, you know, your side gig on the side and then try to, to build a clientele and eventually you're going to start earning your, your revenue, your income, right? Um, but if you are on unemployment, I know things are really tough out there. I have done another video not too long ago um, that I, I know the situation is very difficult. Uh, you know, people right now are without even the emergency pandemic, you know, uh, assistance. Uh, they have cut it off completely uh, in, you know, from 600, it went down to 300. Some states, very few have allow you know um, to um, do the contribution um, so some of you might end up with that um, and I hope by all means like I said things are going to get better for all of us but again for all of you who are just strictly unemployment obviously you've got nothing to worry about as long as you're uh, now working in another job who's again you know debiting your your, uh, your your taxes and then you're going to be found because your social security is a match okay so um again i just want to clear that really quickly i'm trying to do a batch of few videos here to help people as much as possible and trying to catch up at least once a week to start um you know publishing uh videos uh, especially for my old subscribers who have been around for more than a decade um you know following me and like i said uh, you're more welcome to also listen to my podcast, which is uh, the same kind of, uh, you know, talks that I have here. Uh, and other than that, like I said, we're here for you, me and my team. So if there's anything that I can, I can help you with, um, again, I've been a tax accountant for over 16 years, um, been on the cloud for a long time. And whether you need QuickBooks training or some tax advisory, which is, this is going to be very crucial, especially as we start next year. Um, but remember, the tax planning starts before the end of December 31st, not in the following year. And um, so hopefully you will do the right thing for you. And I hope, like I said, this information has been definitely uh, somehow, some way helpful. And um, as I was always asked, if you find it valuable, then by all means, please share, like, and uh, subscribe. And uh, I will hopefully see you in the next, um, you know, uh, in the next episode, okay? So um, stay safe. As I always say, stay healthy and stay strong, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.